Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, I'm sitting here right now with Heidi, and she's uh, been involved in, today, you set through, what, four sessions at the Mensa National Convention, set through four different yes. segments? National, uh, Mensa Annual Gathering. Annual Gathering, okay. And let's talk about one of the sessions you went through. You started to tell me about this new nanoparticle technology, what's called gold-plated nanoparticles that's able to seek and destroy cancer cells in your body. Yes. Uh, can I just read like a paragraph here and then you tell us what, from your notes what you learned today. Sure. This, here's what this is, folks. Comparable to nanoscale Navy SEALs, this uh, Cornell scientists have merged tiny gold and iron oxide particles to work as a team and then added antibodies guided to the steer, guided to steer this team through the bloodstream toward the cancer cells. And in a nanosecond, the alloy allies then kill the bad guys or the cancer cells with an absorbed infrared heat. This scenario is not science fiction. Welcome to medical reality. Heidi, are you, are they saying that they can put in you a microchip nanotechnology that will seek and destroy cancer cells? Are uh, you serious? I, we are serious. We're very serious. But, you, but you're mixing a few things. Okay, um, help me out. Number one, um, the, they want to put in a, a, a chip that has gotten now, you know, we were talking about the chip being smaller than a grain of rice. Well, now it's actually smaller than a grain of sand with all the new technology. A microchip the size of a grain of sand they want to put in your body. Yes, and it, um, you can swallow it or it can be implanted, either one. It, you can swallow it, it can go into your bloodstream all the way up into a capillary, which is the smallest part of your bloodstream. And um, the doctor then will uh, be able to tell everything about you, all your, your, all your vital statistics, including your blood sugars, uh, precursors to heart um, attacks, and all kinds of things. But um, so the reason we want to, they want to do that though, this is, this is what I got out of it all today, is because the, all these new drugs that are coming out with this nanotechnology need a delivery system. So they need that RFID chip to be within you so that you can accept these new nanotechnology drugs. They're going to deliver them. They what? need that framework of the RFID inside of you so that they can whoa, deliver whoa, whoa, whoa. So they could, they, what they want you to do is they, put, they want to put a, a nano RFID microchip in you that's the size of a grain of sand. Yes. And this thing analyzes your body. Yes. And reports back. Yes, and, that, and so they, they explain that the reason they like RFID chips for this is because they um, only require an energy source uh, when you need it, not, not a constant energy source. And they explained, you know, like when you go to take a, a, a piece of clothing out of the, the store and they still have that tag on it, how it goes off when you go through the door. Okay, okay, so it's a dormant, so it's a microchip that lays dormant in your body, but when it is activated, Right. Through some kind of scan or what activates it? And apparently they've decided that the bathroom door is going to be like the store door because they kept saying all you have to do is get up and go to the bathroom and your doctor will be able to read all your vital statistics for the day and if anything at all is out of whack, he'll just call you up. All right, let me see if I got this right. They want, to, they want me to have a, a RFID microchip the size of a grain of sand in me. Every time I go to the bathroom, there's a sensor on my door. That sensor, like the Walmart door. If you walk yes. out with an RFID tag trying to steal something, it's gonna go beep, beep, beep. So every time you go to the bathroom, because people are gonna go to the bathroom three, four, five times a day. So they will see. actually harvest the energy from the door. So, okay, so the, the, the microchip lays dormant in your body, but every time you go through that doorway, the, the sensor on the door 
waits, reads, reads everything, reads everything on, on the microchip. Yes. And the microchip is literally gathering information about your body, like what your heart rate is, like what your blood pressure is, like what your sugar level is, yeah. everything. All these. All and if there's cancer cells, do, do, is it able to determine you have cancer cells? It or? did not say. Okay, but now how I'm does this sure. gold-plated nanoparticle seek and destroy cancer cells? Okay, so there's different drug delivery systems now. That there, that that's the highest tech, newest technology out. And the gentleman giving the um, speech was actually coming at it from um, an investor's point of view because that's what he does. He does money markets, hedge funds, etc. Okay. So um, he's looking at these these companies that you should invest in. Okay. Um, because of the newest technology, but of course you needed to know what this newest technology was. So that's that's what the newest groundbreaking thing is in the drug world so, is to deliver on these nanoparticles so in other words when you take it and see if, if I got this right these let's say you have you have a thyroid problem or some other problem yes uh, cancer is Can, okay is, let's say it's is cancer the best, is the let's best. say there's cancer they're um, able to give you a drug to take and so, this thing will tell that medicine where the cancer cells are located and they will go straight to those cells and kill those cells. Right, so kind of imagine it as a ribbon. Now nano is like extremely small, like even smaller than microscopic, okay? So, okay. so you're down to that small. You're down to an atom size, okay? Okay. But um, it's shaped, imagine like a ribbon. All right. That ribbon will go into your body, find a cancer cell, wrap around the cancer cell, so hang on to it, and then deliver the appropriate drug to that cancer cell. So for right now, the way we treat cancer is we go by statistics. Um, we say, okay, you have breast cancer, and with breast cancer, 60-some percent of the people um, with your kind of breast cancer respond well to these three different drugs. This combo of drugs right. and they just throw those drugs at you and hope for the best they well they hope for the 62 percent recovery right okay yeah and so they they're going totally off of statistics they throw those drugs at you off the statistics and um then they're not necessarily drilling down to see what which one of those three drugs will work or which maybe one of those drugs makes the other drug work better etc etc okay so they're just going off the statistics, but right. actually if that all fails, then they'll, depending on your doctor and where you go, et cetera, sometimes they'll actually take a piece of those cells and, and drill down and find out exactly what kind of cell that is and then find it, match it with the exact drug. But you usually have to go through the statistical part first and, and hopefully you're in that top statistics that's well that's, that's how they've been doing right. now what's this gonna do so this cuts through all that chase that ribbon will grab that cell analyze that cell know exactly which drug kills that cell and go to work on it now there's a couple different nano uh, technologies one of them does what just what I said about it grabs the cell and then it delivers that kind of drug the gold uh, nano te technology that you're talking about actually grabs the cell and heats it up after it's cooks heat. it yeah and it don't only heat needs to go a couple degrees higher but that once that uh, infrared is is waved over your body to activate that gold and the iron in that nano, nano ribbon right it heats it up and it's dead it kills gone. that cancer cell so there's a couple different ways that they're going about it but well, let me ask you a question all right, that's a tremendous. That's amazing. Amazing health benefit breakthrough. breakthrough. But yes. here's the problem: you're the, 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 you're setting me up that I have to have a microchip in me. Mm -hmm. That I have to, that that now this microchip, this RFID microchip, is reading everything about me. When you need that to facilitate. How do all I feel this? about that though? In the big picture, when we look at the so, new world order. So kind of some of the groundbreaking stuff which I saw um, this a long time ago 
actually several several years ago I think when I was in Louisville that when, when I worked down here that's how long ago um, I saw that they were doing um, this kind of work with diabetes well the reason why they, they talked about that today the reason they kind of started with diabetes is because nine percent of the population has diabetes and it's costing the government 240 billion dollars a year so that's kind of why they zeroed in on diabetes so um, they kept going on about, you know, right. it keeps constant measure of your blood sugar, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, but okay, but we're still talking about, you have to allow them to put a microchip in you. What if people don't want to have that? What if they're uncomfortable with that? I'm not saying that the microchip in this case would be the mark of the beast because you're not, but is it setting you up that without it, you can't get health care? I mean, we actually got a message from a lady today who said that her husband, did you, I don't know if you yes, talked about I, this. Yes, no, no, I just read that I did not talk about it today. Who said that her husband was told he needed to accept this chip by January 1st of 2016. And if he, and if he did not choose to take the chip, that he would not, no longer be able to receive health care. Well, this pretty much explained why. So this is why. Because so, uh, they're setting up all the new drug drugs to be delivered on this kind okay. of a system. In other words, the drugs that people will take mm -hmm. will not go do what it's supposed to do unless you have the microchip to deliver it to the right location in the body. It's kind the of organ. the infrastructure for the drug delivery So when, they, when this man was told today mm -hmm. that if he didn't get the microchip by the 1st of January 2016, they would no longer provide him with health care or at least that type of treatment. So this is what I was saying, Obamacare, mm -hmm. the microchip yes. of Obamacare is mm -hmm. in the bill. Yes. Now I have taken abuse, I have been called names, I have been beat up and run over two or three times over doing that video that, that I did that has 1.3 million views where I literally read from the bill that the microchip is in the bill. Right. And the bill was uh, modified a couple times because he had to keep moving the date back because uh, he never asked a nurse, you know, ask a nurse. He never yeah. asked a nurse, never asked the doctors what they actually could deliver. He just tried to um, mandate, it. mandate it and bulldoze it through the healthcare system. And the healthcare system wasn't set up for it. But Heidi, I can bring something up here. It's not just uh, uh, medic medically, it wasn't mm -hmm. set up, you're right. Number two though, but, but in the bill, it says there has to be a radio, it has to be an RFID, radio frequency identification device that you have to have all of your information right. has to be in this microchip. It is the law, right. everything about you. Because that part is just simply working on the, the new world order. Well, the infrastructure. That I know you're looking at it from your medical standpoint, right? but this law, this Obamacare law requires all of your information also has to be in the chip, right. not just the medical information, but your banking records, your I, your your DNA information, your your social security number. What do they need that for? Well, because they say if you're unconscious and unable to give them any of that information, all they have to do is wave a wand over you and they and they can take care of you. That's the excuse for putting this in people, but there's other um there's other things that they're doing with the RNA. Now the RNA is a replication of the DNA. Okay. Uh, R means replication, okay? And um, they're working with uh, viruses on that. Now, what did you hear yesterday? One of the biggest threats? I can't remember. H1N1. Oh, yeah. The, the, the what biggest... is H1N1? That's the bird flu. It's a virus. Yes. It's a virus. So is there any cure for the common cold? What no. did they say yesterday? No. no. There is no cure for the common cold, but it is a virus. So that one of these um, nanotechnologies um, is taking the RNA and um, tricking the RNA is what it is. They're tricking it into a different RNA so that it can disrupt the replication between the DNA and the RNA and uh, therefore the virus um, will be killed now. What is HIV? A it's virus. a virus. So, you know, they're coming up with cures for cancer and HIV, some of the biggest right. killers, and diabetes. Right, so which is great medical breakthroughs, but the delivery system and, and everything that goes into that is the big concern. 
we're out of time on this video. Mm -hmm. Folks, we got more to tell you about from the Mensa Convention and information of the New World Order.